welcome to my presentation. My name is Kadadine and today we're presenting Unit 13 Leadership in Sport. Um, what I'm going to be talking about in this presentation is about the roles, characteristics and qualities and these are the things that make you a successful leader. And first of all, I'm going to be talking about the roles, uh, motivator, um, it's someone that keeps the players interested, interested um, it keeps them interested uh, within the game. An example of this would be Jurgen Klopp. Um, he's someone that does not sit on his chair, whereas someone like Van Gaal, uh, he'd rather sit on his chair and analyse the game from there. However, this makes Jurgen Klopp a more, uh, someone that is more fascinated within the game, keeps them like getting them motivated. Um, uh, what's the, a team, uh, a team, an uh, old team of Jurgen Klopp also said that. Uh, he's a people catcher, so basically players love him because of the fact that he likes them, uh, he celebrates with them, so they love him and he's a great new motivator and a charming, a charming person. Uh, organizer, an organizer is someone who can arrange activities such as that a person that knows what he's doing, so he knows the correct uh, t um, training sessions, uh, technical uh, strategies in order to win a game. Uh, it's someone that can deliver uh, things perfect. Uh, an example of this would be uh, Guardiola, as he knows, uh, uh, he has a good uh, philosophy of the game, he knows what to do, and this reflects back to the titles that he gets. Um, a psychologist uh, is someone who's an expert in the mental life and how, um, how to mind and body function. Um, an example of this would be um, Claudio Ranieri as he won the Leicester Premier League. Uh, you know, he got the best out of the players and he investigated each player, what he can do and get them, uh, uh, help them to like, achieve their best of their potential. A role model, a role model is someone that sets a right example, uh, shows a professional attitude towards the sport and someone that actually lives for the sport. An example of this would be uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, for example, little kids play FIFA, and then they see, uh, and obviously, and he, as he is the best player, so people reflect upon that little kid, and they will, uh, it would, uh, they would use it as a kind of a role model, an example, and they will try the same thing to get achieve that best of their potential. For example, in the sports development, uh, it would uh, help them, allow them to step up. Uh, to from uh, foundation to maybe performance levels, and this ambition uh, will help them to reach the top, in order to, uh, which will have a positive influence on the youngsters. Um, the characteristics: um, one of them will be uh, patience. Patience is um, t uh, that a person needs to give time to something, and uh, so if something is not uh, working out well at the start, it doesn't mean that you have to give up straight away. You have to. Uh, take your time, don't rush, and always stay relaxed. An example of this would be Amir Khan. Uh, Amir Khan uh, is a boxer. Uh, at the start, <coughs> it didn't go well, but then he kept believing in himself, and his manager gave him some new strategies and tactics. People were thinking that his career was over, as people knew uh, his uh, strategies, but he came up with new ones, and he has pr uh, proven wrong as he starts winning games, and he won most of his fights after that. Uh, discreet. It's important that uh, yeah, people keep things personally, as it is crucial on someone's um, personal privacy and things like that. Um, it's th uh, such a things would be personal problems, conflicts. It has to stay uh, confidential. Uh, injuries and uh, illnesses. An example of this would be Maxime uh, Lestian, uh, who has uh, lost his parents in the space of two weeks. So what PSV has done is that they gave him a one month break. Uh, to go over it and just give him some respect and then after that I came back again. Objectivity, uh, it's important that uh, a manage, uh, someone who has got a good leadership that sets uh, clear benchmarks, a uh, clear mindset of what he wants to achieve in, um, uh, with their current team and usually they rely on statistics. Uh, an example would be uh, uh, these two players, James Rodriguez and Esco. Uh, basically, James Rodriguez started after his World Cup. Um, it, it, now this season, he starts uh, not to play well, uh, whereas Isco um, was performing. And based on statistics, um, the Zidane preferred 
uh, Isco open more, and therefore he dropped uh, Hamas for Isco. Uh, persistence, uh, it's um, someone needs to reassure the uh, participations and uh, maintain on the standards. An example of this would be Eden Hazard, who came to the Premier League, he didn't perform well, however, uh, whether it was Robert Menitas or Villa uh, Boas, uh, kept believing in Hazard, even though he had a bad season, shows that one of those managers uh, believes in him, and this increases confidence, and over the past uh, years, he's been outstanding. Uh, qualities, uh, this would be, um, the first one would be the knowledge of sports skills, um, knowing the person needs to know and understand the right skills for the certain sport and being able to demonstrate that through uh, yeah, uh, understand and this will potentially help him to uh, improve the performance. Uh, example of this would be the introduction of rehabilitation to prevent injuries. Uh, this helped uh, Wenger by uh, to use this on um, long-term injuries such as uh, Wilshire and Cozola. So he bought more players or he, uh, you know, uh, to let them play and balance out the squad. Uh, knowledge of rules and laws. Uh, a coach needs to know what skills are required for a certain, um, certain sport. So a manager needs to pass on their understanding towards the players. So an example of this would be Luis Enrique. Before, he came to, before Suarez came to Barcelona, he told him straight away that he needs to look at his behaviour and um, uh, he had to uh, pass on the expectations of the club and uh, forget what happened in the past and just look forward and now as you can see Suarez is a top striker now uh, paid off and he focused just on scoring goals uh, understanding the mental needs of the participants a manager needs to consider the uh, mental needs of uh, uh, participants and usually this will uh, relate to the psychologist uh, such as Murillo uh, a couple of years ago, in 2011, um, uh, Madrid deliberately let the grass grow long under uh, Murillo, uh, which would, uh, 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 which resulted into Barca struggling to pass. So, uh, as Murillo knew that Madrid could not, uh, wasn't capable of them stopping them without uh, doing this approach. Uh, understanding the physical needs of participants, uh, I managed to consider physical needs uh, through. Uh, training such uh, sessions, drills, fitness levels, going to the gym, um, analyzing each player uh, what he what he can do. Uh, example of this would be that um, uh, the injuries that uh, happen in Arsenal year in year out, Casola, uh, Wilshire, everything like that, and it's important that Wenger needs to analyze this in order to. Um, make this avoid this from happening again. Again, so mainly you would buy more midfielders, or depending on what type, what type of injury is. And this is my presentation.